Hey members, welcome to another installment of Functional Friday. We're gonna go ahead and do four exercises that are challenging your balance, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our Turkish getup. You've seen this video produced from us uh, probably three to four weeks back. If you would like, we'll accompany this video with that link. So if you wanna go through the form breakdown, that's great. Click that link, check it out, and then come back to this. If not, I'm going to show you a brief overview now, and then you can get right back to it. So we're going to start off in a supinated position, okay? We're laying on our back. I'm going to put my left hand out. My left leg is flat. My right hand, my right leg rather, plants on the floor, and my right knuckle will go straight up towards the ceiling, okay? From here, I'm going to pull with this hand and use my abs to lock up onto this left elbow and really punch the ceiling here, okay? So now I'm straight. If you were to draw a line between my arm and my elbow, it's relatively straight. From here, I'm going, to, I'm going to screw this hand into the ground and push up, okay? So now I'm slightly less straight, but still my arms are both extended. Okay, from here, I'm gonna create a bridge between my right leg and my left arm. Shoot that leg up, shoot the knee up. My knuckles are still pointed up towards the ceiling. I'm going to slide this leg up my, up my leg, slide the arm up my leg, and then from there I'm going to do a lunge, okay? And stand up from here. I'm just going to reverse the movements, lunge back, hand slides down the leg, straight bridge between the left arm and the right leg, sit, elbow, shoulder, down, okay? Easy as pie, okay? So, in all seriousness though, we're going to do about five reps on each side due to the extensiveness of that exercise. After which, you're gonna go ahead and perform a single leg body weight deadlift. Okay, so what you're gonna do, keep the hips nice and even, torso erect, abs engaged. You're gonna slide one arm down, try to touch that toe, stand straight back up. Now I fell, so that rep wouldn't have counted. Okay, try again. Okay, here, tap. A little bit better, still lost my balance. So I'm gonna go a third time. Drive through the heel, stand all the way up, squeeze the glutes at the top, that's one, okay? So again, you can do this five on each side if you can, if, it, if you need to, if it helps, you can kind of airplane it, right? Rather than touching your toe, some people that may help their balance. Uh, if you do have an issue with balance, I would encourage you while you're doing these exercises, get close to a wall so you do have some support, you have something to grab onto. The buddy system is invaluable. We learn it in Boy Scouts. I'm assuming they teach it in Girl Scouts. Uh, paramedics use it. Like It's just good to be working out with somebody. We're humans, we're social creatures. Uh, get a friend that you've been quarantined with. Get a family member, mom, dad, sibling, child, grandma, grandpa, whoever you have at your house that you've been quarantining with already, uh, you can incorporate this with them and have a good bonding experience and also get work out of it. So after that, we're gonna go ahead and do some single leg balance with triflexion, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and you're going to stand up, bring this knee up, and you're supposed to just hold it for as long as you can, okay? So I'm here, side view, planting this foot, Turn this leg into triflexion, balance, keep the hips even. Now the reason they call this triflexion is because you're flexing your hip joint, your knee joint, and your ankle joint, right? So this, all of my joints are extended, flexing, triflexion, right? So there's your anatomy lesson for the day. Um, we're gonna go ahead and you can progress it in many different ways. If you're here, right, your eyes can be closed. That adds a little bit more of a challenge. You can add a moving component to it, right? And that's really challenging, but um, try those. And then finally, we're gonna add a single leg wood chopper to the mix. I really love this. If you've worked with me in WOW or have been in some of my one-on-ones, uh, this is a great exercise that I love to have people do. You're gonna go ahead and bend your knee. And you're just gonna twist, okay? So you're gonna twist through, okay? With the goal of keeping your knee stabilized over your foot. 
in case of twist, right, so on and so forth. So you're going to shoot for maybe um, five to ten full rotations on each leg, okay? So those are four quality movement drills that you can practice to improve your balance, coordination, and ab engagement. I highly recommend you do those as a warm-up without weights, or if you add weights to those, they could absolutely be a workout. I mean, I've definitely worked up a sweat here. So I hope you all have a great day, enjoy your weekend, and thank you so much for watching these videos. It brings me so much joy to hear that they've been bringing you joy. I look forward to the next time we can see each other and see your smiling faces around the club. Until then, be safe.